The dream for Saskatoon to be home to an NHL franchise was once held onto by a local businessman in the early 80s. Now, almost 40 years later, the dream is being kept alive by the work of a local documentary maker. CTV's Chad LaRue has more on the hockey vision and the man behind it. Les Duby and I had the distinct honor, on behalf of all of you, on behalf of all of Saskatchewan, to sign the final documents, and the Blues are now yours. Hooray! The team was bought, merchandise was made, tickets were sold, the arena was planned out, and fans were ecstatic. All signs were pointing towards Saskatoon getting its very own NHL team when Bill Hunter bought the St. Louis Blues from Ralston Purina in 1983. The only thing standing in his way was the NHL Board of Governors. He found a head coach in Don Cherry. Don was going to come to Saskatoon and help promote the idea of hockey in Saskatchewan. Uh, he had everything set up, um, unfortunately. Uh, he wasn't on the best of terms with some of the NHL owners. Burgess, producer at Campfire Stories, has been putting together a documentary on this big event for years. In 1972, Bill helped form the World Hockey Association, a league in direct competition with the NHL, and that didn't sit well with many of the owners in the NHL. I, I would say absolutely it was decided before they went. Um, you know, the stories that I heard from not only my father, but the other people that were there, you know, uh, the other ownership group was that people were snoring. People weren't, weren't even paying attention to their presentation, and it was embarrassing. Bill's son, Bart Hunter, who was ironically playing for the St. Louis farm team at the time, joked about maybe having a starting position if his father had been successful. The deal ultimately fell through, and what followed was a circus of lawsuits and controversy. Many saying Saskatoon would have never been able to survive as a professional hockey team, especially when bigger cities started to struggle. 150,000 people, and they have millions of people. How would, how would we support that? But there is the counter argument to be made that one of the most successful football teams in the world is the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Look at their merchandise sales. Burgess thinks that the fanatic nature of fans in the province may have led to a successful franchise, but now all anyone gets is a bad case of the blues when they think about what could have been. Chad LaRoe, CTV News, Saskatoon.